Hello and welcome back to Mediocre Gamers, this is Crimson. And I realized to not go in depth on if you want your homebrew custom mod uh, set of cards added to the table for the Marvel Champions, um, how the best way to do that is. So the best way to do that is to create your own mod and send me a link to that mod. So I'm going to show you how to create a mod in Tabletop Simulator. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go to create single player and I like to just grab cards, whatever, delete it. So that way you have a blank table, go to objects, tables, we're just going to grab the rectangle table. All right. Now we need to add in some cards. So I have a video on how to add in custom cards. Uh, we can do that real quick just cards custom card we're gonna just add one let's do crawl and add the card back import here we're just gonna make a whole bunch of crawls okay so once you have all your cards imported you can group them up, go to objects, components, tools, grab a bag, change the bag colors, that way people can actually see the bag, and then name it, Claw, finished. There you go. Throw your cards in there. Throw it over to the side. And now we're going to make the mod. So, first thing you're going to do is go to modding, workshop upload. The first time you upload, you're going to do this tab. If you need to make changes, you'll use this tab. So, first thing we're going to do, go here, title it, uh, TTS test mod crimson put a description grab a thumbnail and then type it is card game how many players upload okay so now it is uploading you have this number Save this number so you can make changes to that upload later. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and save it over here real quick. Okay, boom. Now, when you hit games, you're going to see your test mod there. Go to options and go to info. This is going to pull up your Steam info. It is going to be by default not public, I believe. Let's just verify. Yep. So right now it is hidden. Um, you want to change it to public? Most likely. If you want other people to grab you know be able to use your cards so I suggest changing it to public or if you just want to send it to me pretty much you can go friends only or you can just keep it hidden I believe if if it's hidden and you send me the link or you share you give me this link I should be able to see it I'm not positive so probably just go with public but yeah once you got this here click share grab the link then send me that link on discord so let's let me test it I'm gonna go over here okay so I cannot see it if it's hidden um so yeah just make it public I'm gonna keep this one hidden because I 
well here let's go to public so now it's public we go here it's in my mods um, and you can click on your name up here and see all your mods I wonder what that is I think that was another uh, video I did <laughs> oh, and notice okay there you go how you can tell if it's hidden it says current visibility hidden this item is only visible to you admins and other and anyone marked as a creator there you go okay so if it's hidden and you don't want it to go public you can go over here and I believe you can add contributors and then you can add a friend as a managed person so send me a friend request uh, let me know in discord if you are sending me a friend request because if I, if I don't recognize the name I might not accept it um, but for the most part just make it public and then send me the link and remember you click share and that's your link you just grab that link and then let's test it out here now there you go I can see it perfect so let's delete this now let's say you made your first hero right and you decide that you want to make more heroes okay crawl three this time okay so say you made another another hero change that to something we can see and you want to update your mod you go to the mod you go to mod workshop you go to update mod and remember that code that we saved earlier you'll grab that code and you'll hit update it's gonna give me an error because I deleted the mod already but that would at that point update the mod and it would allow me to see the mod again what this does is for an example is this is uh, Gwenpool's mod so I see that he has and I, I have all these added now if he updates this it'll show up on my list up here and I'll be like oh there's been an update to that mod and then I can click on it grab his his new one save object and then save it and then go to my mod and change it and add it um, this is the best way um, the other way is if you don't want to do all that and you have you have everything finished a hundred percent finished no more tweaks you are guaranteed 100 percent done message me on discord um, I'm in the discord it's crimson dash mediocre gamers um, message me on the discord and we'll join up in a game and you can load in your stuff and I can just right click save it and then I can add it to my mod um, but you won't be able to make any tweaks and if you make more stuff you gotta contact me each time so I mean uh, it's cool but the best way is to make your own mods that way I can just go in there when I have time off from work grab your stuff that I see has been updated and add it to my mod um, I will be overhauling the mod section like the custom stuff on my mod soon um, this way people will have a lot more options um, but beyond that that's pretty much how you do it it's really simple especially once you got the cards imported um, granted 
Now remember, there's multiple ways to import. I'm just gonna go over that real quick. You can go to custom card, find your your one card, so armored card. Find your card back. If you need the card back, just message me on Discord. Boom. Or if you're doing a sideways card, now it's super important when doing sideways cards. In fact, I will show you an example here. Um, so, you need to make sure the card looks like this. So for these type of cards, the side schemes, the white side has to be down or the pips have to be up. Um, if you have it like this, it will not import correctly. You need to have it look like this. White side down, pips up on side schemes. For main schemes, it's the opposite. You need the white part or the text part up. Um, this is the only way to get it to import correctly and I'll show you here. Um, let's go to Defense Network. Let's go to Edit. Let's say you have it like this. Well, here, I'll give you two examples. Here's the way I have it, the correct way. We're just going to do a, a back, a yellow back. And I hit sideways, import. When you hit Alt, it shows it to you sideways. No matter what orientation this is in, it's sideways. But if you have it incorrectly, if you have it sideways already, two things will happen. If you click sideways, the card will show up sideways, but it will be wrong when you Alt over it. Or, if you don't click sideways, card will be right, but it won't connect to the other stuff properly. Here, let's uh, make a new one here and I'll show you. See, your back will be messed up. So make sure you have them in this orientation. Side scheme, white down. Main scheme, white up. And that way your card back looks proper everything looks good okay I think that's gonna be it for the video hopefully that helps you remember to send me a message on on discord with a link or if you need an invite to a game so that way we can get the cards moved over thank you guys